Ah, Minecraft. Is there anything better than sitting down to play some Minecraft, relaxing, building some stuff, and using it to torment your PC? Yes, that's right, because Minecraft may seem innocent, but it can weigh down on the hardware like an anvil. So today, I'll be going over how you can benchmark and stress this your PC with Minecraft. I'll be showing you some fun stuff you can do to really push your PC to your limits and just hope for the best that the game doesn't crash from all of this. So here's the first thing we'll be doing, and this is actually something I'm kind of proud of. I have created a little benchmark in Minecraft, which is basically just a roller coaster which will take you through and do several tests down there and yeah it's basically just a little thing to test some of the most taxing things in the game and hopefully all you have to do is just look forwards and press down well uh, w so let's see if it actually works so as you can see turns at night lights turn empty spawn mobs effects particles those blocks, redstone torches, commands again, all of this just disappears, it's actually working rather well, pistons, more lamps, and there we go, explosions, so, that actually works, that actually works, I'm gonna leave this down in the video description below for you to download, and what you have to do then is simply have a performance overlay, like this one from Nvidia, and then you can just simply track what kind of your FPS is looking like. It's actually pretty cool. And now for something completely different, we'll try to crash your server with TNT, but not in the usual way, because thanks to this command, which will spawn in a whole bunch of uh, sugar boxes, which hopefully will, uh, they missed completely. They were supposed to go in here, but they missed completely. But anyway, each one of these shulker boxes is filled to the brim with netherite ingots. And in a recent snapshot, what he added is the fact that when a sugar box or a bundle gets destroyed by TNT or whatever else, all the items inside of it simply come out and onto the ground. So hopefully now when we simply use one block of TNT, which was supposed to be in there, uh, there we go, now facing this way, hopefully this will mean that all of these choker boxes, all filled with netherite, hopefully they will simply just uh, all come out on the ground. So. Uh, Let's see how this goes. Oh boy. Well then. That's a lot of entities. <laughs> how many entities are... Our FPS literally just got cut. It was around 60, and now it's at 17. So yeah, it's a third of what we used to have. And we're looking at around... Um, we're looking at around 800 entities. That's... I, I wanted more. There we go. Oh, there's a lot there. That's probably... There we go. That's a lot of... Uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm actually scared now. Uh, where should... I... Let's make it explode, like, right here. Ah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think it crashed. Oh, no! <laughs> it's still going! It's actually still good. Oh boy. That's a lot of entities. I, I can't move. Oh, okay. We've somehow done it? How? My late render. Yeah, my uh, FPS is down to zero. Uh, and we're looking at 4,500 entities. Ain't that fun? I want to take it even further. I want to see how many we can actually get away with. <laughs> so now, and also for good luck, I'm going to throw in all the ones I have here. There we go. Now, come on. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh my word. <laughs> it's gone. It's no, it's not. How is it still going? <laughs> you what? I expected this to crash right now. Oh my word. We have officially carpeted this hole with Neverite. <laughs> this is insane. This is actually insane. How many entities are we looking at here? 
The FPS count has no idea what it's doing. It, the FPS count is still stuck at 55. I can guarantee we are not running at 55 FPS. We're looking at something like 6, 000, almost 7,000 entities. That's actually insane, you know, I mean... I got a GTX 10 Ti and a Ryzen Valley 700X. I imagined this to uh, completely crush my PC, but apparently not. Apparently not. So yeah, if any of you could do this without crushing your PCs, do let me know, because that's actually going to be rather impressive, I feel like. So yeah, hope you liked this quick little video. I honestly think it was a lot of fun just to experiment with a few things in Minecraft like this. Once again, a link to a little benchmarking map will be down in the video description below. I actually really like it. I think I'm going to like keep um, constantly be updating it and stuff in the future, because I think it's a little fun little thing. But also while you're here, maybe check out my Patreon, because even $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel, allows me to make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics really it does help a lot like a lot a lot so i'd also love to thank all my patreons like gavin burns lkb naomi sushi ryan tiffany jacobs and wolfie thank you all so so much down there you're also going to find a link to our discord if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really and also our Amazon associates links. If you want to buy anything from Amazon, we get some money. You don't pay anything extra, so it's a win-win. I'll probably have them link to some nice, uh, I don't know what kind of link I'm down to because most hardware is out of stock. Uh, let's just say some nice motherboards so you can get started on your uh, nice Ryzen PC when Ryzen 5000 is uh, more available. But yeah, that's what it's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, or whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye.